Okay, going to do a little short review here of my 2018 Royal Enfield Himalayan. Uh, it has 2,000 miles on it now. It is a 2018. I've had it for three months. If this video goes okay, if anybody wants to know about any of the things that I did to it, or any of the accessories that I put on there, I'll, uh, I'll let people know, do, do a video. But most of the stuff that I did you can find either on eBay, Amazon, or pretty much on YouTube videos. But a lot of them are from India and they don't speak English all the time, which makes it hard because we don't know much about the bikes. So, like these bags right here, I got from Amazon. They fit right onto the brackets that are there. I uh, got my sheepskin seat cover from Wild Things Fur. Uh, Mad, I forget his name. Um, Brad the Madman, he did a review on it. Uh, I got my crash bars. They're just the stock roll infield ones. Got them on eBay, and then after I bought them, of course, uh, some better ones came out. They're a little beefier. They have a bracket that comes to the back if you're really going to do some major off-road. Uh, stock bag I had, I used a mount for a carrier. I had to cut the bracket off for my bag to fit. Works great. Uh, stock exhaust. Oh, I got the Ace Abyss. Brush guards, and to put those on, you have to use another mount. So this top mount, you buy and flip upside down, and you have to get longer bolts. They say the bar end bolts will fit, but I went with hardened inch and a quarter, or inch and I think they're inch and a half. Uh, you have to see because these thread the whole way down, so you can put a longer bolt, so you don't have to worry about it. I uh, got my GoPro mount right there. Uh, the Ace Abyss brush guards, if you do not put the risers on and tilt the bars back a little bit, they will hit your dash. There's a gap here, and I tried it before that, and I cracked the bezel right there. So you need to definitely do this. Some people say you can do without it. I don't understand how you can because they hit the dash. Other than that, uh, Pretty much stock, and stock exhaust. Oh, that's another thing I did. Itchy boots. Everybody watches. Does uh, her ride? She got one of these and some other pieces from this company in Taiwan. I think it is. Uh, you can get them on eBay, and they have the other guards for the radiator, or for the oil cooler rad, and for the brake brake on the other side. I think it is. Um, but you can get those on eBay. I mean, it's more expensive, they charge a lot on shipping, but hey, you know what? I mean, it fits the bike perfect. I park in gravel every day at work, bike never fell. But, uh, that's it. Oh, and you gotta have your transformer sticker. So, I mean, if anybody wants to know more about, like, some of the things I found about the bike, uh, it's a great bike, runs great, handles, handles the bends awesomely. I mean, it's like riding a sport bike. Uh, Maintenance is easy. I did all the maintenance myself. Change the oil was easy. Uh, filters on the side. There's reviews and people show you how to do that. Uh, the only thing I had trouble with was the... Um, what, uh, I forget what it's called. The system that comes off of the tank and goes underneath to recycle the fumes. It goes into the fuel injector. People have... Uh, problems with the fuel going down in if you put too much in the tank fuel goes down in there and it makes the bike run like crap I've had that problem uh, I think that's pretty much it I mean there's a lot of other reviews out there it's just a review of mine you know over here I'm by Pittsburgh PA and can't beat it you know it's starting to get a lot more of these seeing them around all right well if anybody thinks of anything they want to ask more about uh shoot it in a comment or something and see maybe if i can help you out all right have a good one